uh, cabin productions uh, this is my first build in the cabin and um, I've been invited to uh, an F3K competition in a fortnight's time and one of my old friends Lute Wackerman has built a glider it's an electric not a glider it's an electric plane very small and the idea is it's electric powered and it's a combat plane and I think the general theory is is that uh, you fly and it's a combat plane and I think the general theory is is that uh, you fly with a streamer and the idea is to try and cut everybody else's streamers before yours um, so his is all done in De Deprom which is a, like a foam but I couldn't be bothered to do that so I've decided I'm going to use EPP and I'm calling it black crack so there you go Luke I'm making the plane black crack uh, hey oh look at that look black crack the plane designed by Luke Wackerman so I didn't want to use um Deprom but I just finished building a fantastic plane from Sawhead sailplanes and um, I was left with these the wing blanks and I got thinking do you know what that's so small I think I could actually make the glider sorry I keep saying glider the electric plane um, with the wing blanks so I've got these wing blanks and I think I'm going to use the thick bit for the fuselage because it's not a massive plane but then the top bits of where these are cut with a hot wire in EPP so what I've done is with uh, Luke's instructions that he sent me and if anybody wants one of these um, message me on Facebook and I'll send it to you so there's the basic uh, I hold that like that you might be able to get the dimensions but I'm happy to send you the dimensions anyway so as I say it says it's done in a Deprom I'm doing it in uh, EPP and um, so first thing I did was obviously now we're out of the EU I to, it was in something called millimeters centimeters I don't know what that was anyway I've managed to um, translate that so what I've done is I made a blank and then I then offered up the blank of the wing so that's the blank of the wing you notice I've done that in uh, Dutch there oh you're not going to read that because it's all around the wrong way isn't it anyway so I cut out the wing blank the dimensions and what I did was I literally managed to find the best I cut out the wing blank and what I did was I put the two halves of the what was left over from the glider and made planned out there's the tail plane there's the rudder so that I could get the best cuts now the interesting thing is is that actually if you look at that end on uh, there's not much under camber on it but the thick bit so I was thinking if I make the wing from here forwards all I got to do is then just sand that off um, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do so what I've done is with the wing blank I've done I've just penciled round so what I'm trying to do is make the best of the EPP so in best blue Peter fashion there's one wing I've cut already and what I'm hoping to do instead of cutting this because the ailerons will run along there what I'm hoping to do because it's thick enough um, when I've sanded the leading edge what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut halfway through the aileron line and then make what we call a live hinge so there's one that's one wing um, the only problem is it's a little bit difficult trying to get a biro or a felt tip so, hey look it looks like today we've got more than one live feed from Nick <laughs> yeah yeah this is the real Nick Nick who <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is when I can find it we just put these dimensions out of the way on the cabin dartboard and then what we're going to do 
I'm then going to cut the other blank out. And then I'd like everybody's suggestions for making the uh, fuselage because I've got a number of options. So what I've done is I just cut this like that. I don't know if you can still see that. There you go, you can see that. So I've just made it. It's actually shown up with a biro. And that's not the right blade, is it? Oh, what have I done with my blades? Come on. You're on good money. Um, so we're going to cut that like so. So I just thought it's the great use of what was a bit of spare EPP. I don't know, I think somebody's been in here tidying up. Here we go. Right, so it's the best use of a bit of spare EPP because I've got to be honest with you, the owner from uh, Sawhead Sailplanes, Nick, he does such a brilliant job that actually most of this is all going to be the same dimension. So I'm just quickly using a ruler and a very sharp knife just to cut through this for you. And then we'll stop and we'll go through some comments because this is a great way of using these blanks that are left behind um, on, to making what is going to be a combat model. Ooh. There we go. Let me just do that there. And cut that there. So I thought the idea would be tonight is I'll cut out the basics of the um, wing. And then what we thought I could do is I could get, I've got so many experts on Facebook that people would be able to give me, there you go, people would be able to give me suggestions on um, how to make, let's have a little look here, I'm a little bit scared of moving the phone. What questions? I don't see any questions. Right. So I'm just going to do this curve. Um, I could have possibly done this with a hot wire bow. But for personal reasons, or health reasons more than anything, I don't like um, cutting EPP anymore. Because I made myself quite poorly once. So there we go. There's another wing. So if you actually look at that now, look at that. I'm going to round that off as a leading edge. If I can be bothered, I might trim that down. But look at that, cracking. So there we go. That's two wings. I'm going to put them together. So I'll sand those. I'm not going to show you those sanding those, but we'll show you those tomorrow. Now, what I've got left is these two bits of the uh, foam core, the smaller part of the foam core, and this was from a glider called an SAS Mamba. Really brilliant flying wing from Sawhead Sailplanes. And what I'm going to do is, because in the kit you get some spare glue, it's like a copy dex glue, it's really good for uh, gluing EPP. Lou Wackerman, brilliant. Oh, I doubt it, that's going to cost me. I'll be eating another sock, I can see it coming. So I'm going to do that there. And um, if anybody likes at the end, I'll take you outside and you can have a lovely view of the seaside. Yeah, is, where am I going? Oh, there you go. Sorry, I was miles away. Bear with me, because this is my first live one for a... Um, oh, this is going to get confusing. Right, this is number one of the tailplane, so that's tailplane number one, let me just have a look at the plan there, I'll put that on there like so, that goes on there, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two halves together, so it means I'm utilising the whole of the bit of foam, and the other fantastic thing is, is that we've now got um, enough left over to make a fin. And so if anybody's got, particularly if you've got an SAS Mamba at home, what, what am I doing Oliver? I'm showing everybody around my 
cabin. We don't call it a shed, it's a uh, cabin. Oh, Facebook, congratulations. This is your most commented on live video yet. Oh, it's the only one, mate. Right. This is where Facebook's going to ask me if I want to spend some money in a minute by promoting this. You should be telling them to jog on. Um, now, the other thing I am going to need some help with, not at the moment, when I get to, I know very little about electric motors. Now, there you go, look at that. Ooh, already. Oh, one way around there. So, with the spare, what I've actually made is the tailplane. Um, so, that's all. I'm going to glue that and leave that to dry tonight and then you'll see why. So I've made the tail plane, I'm going to glue that together, let it dry overnight and then we'll cut a, a, cut a live hinge on there, perfect, so that's that. And then what I also did was, so good tip, cut out templates and now I've got the choice little bits of cut left over, oh look at that, in fact you know what? That is so good that this might actually be Wackerman's design, but I think I might actually just leave that like that. And then just cut a section in there like that. This is where you see me cut my finger off and drive off to casualty. So, that in the space of a few minutes. Am I, yeah, I am glue sniffing, John. And then when I'm getting onto this bad boy, because me cabin's uh, full of it. Right, so there we go. I've also got a fin as well. So, just clear the bench. I've got two wings. I've got the elevator and the tail plane all together. Okay. I've got elevator tail plane and there's my rudder all ready to go now so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sand these off and uh, just make them a proper aerodynamic shape oh little interesting fact here for people who don't uh, know Dutch obviously as you know I'm um, bilingual um, that when you actually type in the word stupid, because I did say stupid a couple of times and I looked at the dimensions, because uh, who makes an aeroplane with a wingspan of 690? Because then that's 345. Well, that's not too bad. But when you start looking at the tailplane, you know, 205, you've got to cut it in half. Oh, it gets a bit difficult. I'm sure it's easier in feet and inches. Anyway, um, so what... I'm going to do is I want your advice because what I've got here these are the main wing cores and I'm thinking to myself that if I glue that together like so that is the perfect shape for a fuselage now the question is if I glue those together shall I use Sorry, that bit, this bit here, that sort of shape, or shall I use th that shape to make the fuse large? So um, that one's A, that one's B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these now when I finish this video. I'm going to cut that the length of the fuselage. I've got plenty of length of the fuselage. It's not a massive plane. And then um, I'd like your advice on which one you think all my aerodynamic aerodynamicist friends um, have a go. Look at that and tell me what you think. Obviously, I'm going to flatten that off and then cut some holes in it to put the servos in, um, which we'll do tomorrow. Um, so remember, this is the build. That's just the first video of Black Crack, the answer to Luke Wackerman's White Crack, Depron. There you go, Luke. Thanks for the design. And if anybody else wants to design, so if you've got an SAS Mamba at home 
or an SAS wild thing um, and you've got some spare EPP blanks <laughs> well that'll be over in about 30 seconds then John won't it mate <laughs> at your age mate you might even get a bit light-headed um, so the question is oh actually Nick's online so the question is do we use that bit for the fuselage or do we use that bit for fuse large? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign off in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these a little bit more aerodynamic. Just going to round that off on a belt sander. Um, going to round those off on a belt sander. Well, that basically is the start. And uh, tomorrow, um, we'll come back. Um, 